The sound of leaves crunching under my feet is surefire evidence of one thing, winter is here. Within the past couple of weeks, trees like maples, oaks, and beeches have dropped all of their leaves to prepare for the winter months ahead. Trees that lose their leaves each year are known as deciduous trees. They drop their leaves in the fall because winter time in our region is much drier than spring and summer, so water is not as readily available for the trees and their leaves. Not all of Ohio's trees lose their leaves like this, though. These trees are known as evergreens. No surprise, the name evergreen refers to the fact that they hold onto their leaves all year. It's true that evergreens will lose some leaves in various stages throughout the year, but they don't drop them all at once like deciduous trees do. How can they do this? They may not look like leaves, but the needles on this tree are actually leaves. Surrounding the leaves of evergreens is a waxy coating that helps them trap water in. Because of this, they do not need to shed their leaves when faced with lack of water like deciduous trees do. These needles also have a lot less surface area than the leaf of, say, an oak, for example. So, when snow falls, it pretty quickly drops off the needles. If a tree like an oak held onto its leaves throughout the winter, snow would have a lot more room to accumulate and would weigh the tree's branches down. Eventually, branches would snap and the tree would sustain damage. Because of their hardy nature and specialized adaptations, evergreens are uniquely suited to living in the snowiest mountain climate. It's true that ours isn't the climate most evergreens evolved in, but many species still do quite well here in Southwest Ohio. It's not uncommon to find spruces, firs, and pines growing alongside our deciduous trees. And it's not hard to see why they were brought here in the first place. Evergreens have long been valued for their high quality lumber and are prized landscaping trees because they provide shape and interest to the garden even after other plants have gone dormant. Their dense year-round vegetation also makes them excellent natural fences and windbreaks. It's not just humans that love them though. Countless wildlife species rely on these evergreen giants for habitat and valuable winter food sources. While the colder, northern reaches of Ohio have a few native evergreens, here in southwest Ohio we have only one true native evergreen, the eastern red cedar. These trees are a type of juniper and are known for their scale-like leaves and bark that appears to be shedding off the tree. They're also known for these. The fleshy cones of eastern red cedar, commonly known as juniper berries, are used in a number of tinctures and tonics, the most well-known of these being gin. In fact, the name gin comes from the French word for juniper, genevier, or gin for short. These days, evergreens are synonymous with the holidays, but the practice of bringing their trees and branches into the home is nothing new. Evergreens have long been viewed as a symbol of hope and promise of brighter days ahead, because even in the darkest, coldest months, they remain steadfastly green. Whether they're standing tall amongst the other giants of the forest or adorning a special spot on your mantle, we hope you'll take a moment this winter to appreciate these magnificent trees.